partners, um, Pantech. And what happens here is I'm going to point my device at these doors. These doors are going to open up, and behind these doors I'll see an entire cemetery scene actually with zombies. Okay, and These zombies are going to be coming at me, and I need to try and, and uh, use a gun and defend myself. So you'll see here, as soon as I open the doors, say, we go. Now I'm going to see the doors on the screen, and when I touch them, watch what happens. So the doors open, and I see the cemetery, right? And I, if I look to the side, I can see way back here, and if I come to this side, I can see way back here, and then you'll see the, the bad guys start coming at me. And I can actually play this game. So what happens with AR and with gaming is that my game environment stays in the real world. It stays anchored to physical space, and I move my device around so that I can actually, so that I can play. So we think AR is important for gaming. It's good for gaming like this. We think AR is also interesting for marketing applications. So now a marketer, because instead of having the zombie game, could create an interactive experience on top of their product or their product packaging or perhaps an advertisement for their product that's, on, that's in a magazine. Now the other thing that AR can be used for is instructional kinds of applications. So I can use this device sort of for a see-through user manual. So imagine, for example, um, well, let me just share a personal example, like uh, a, a, my desktop phone. I can't remember the sequence of buttons to do a conference call. With AR, I can point my device at my phone, say I want to make a conference call, and little arrows will appear in the order I need to push them to do that. So my device becomes sort of this see-through instruction manual. And you can imagine doing that with other pieces of machinery or appliances or putting together IKEA furniture or other other things like that. Can you show it a little bit closer again on, yeah. the, on the game menu? So bring the game is to try and take pictures of the celebrity that's going to appear here on the floor. Um, so this was actually done for the developer challenge. It's one of our developers. So you see the guy here, and he's just sitting there looking good. And what I want to do is I want to take a picture. So I get $9 for that picture, mid shot body shot. So I want to go to different angles. And what I want to do is get take the best picture I can without making him angry. Because what happens is he'll get angry at me, and he'll actually try and jump on my phone. So let me show this to you. So here he comes. Ah! So he jumped on my phone, so now I have to try and shake him off. And then you'll see he'll jump. Oh, I took another picture. He'll now try and reach up and actually break my break my camera, break the device. So I think a very innovative game. Very cool. It was done with augmented reality. Yeah, let's see if he gets angry here and comes up. Yeah, so I try to shake him up. What about this Danger Copter game? So Danger Copter is another game where the, I try and rescue citizens that are on the ground. All right. So let me see if I bring up Danger Copter. Oh, I don't have Danger Copter on this. Let me see if I have Danger Copter on here. So this was done with Unity. So Qualcomm makes its SDK available for the Unity uh, game engine. Let's see if this one comes up. So Maybe Unity is a very well-known 3D development it platform is. for games. It is. Mick, can we use your device on this one? Looks like that one's just going to show the Unity splash screen. There we go. So you can see here that I, there's a city that's on top of this image, and what happens is the city is on fire, and I need to go pick up these guys, pick up these little men, and take them to a helipad where a helicopter can rescue them. Oh, I just got burned. Now this is a fun one to actually play, where you take this image and put it on the floor, and then you can move around and see this big city around you on, on the ground. Oh, I'm getting burned. Very cool. Yeah, fun stuff. Good job. 
so these strategy. are just a few examples of your augmented reality or what, what came out of your developer challenge. And I think you're That's going correct. to announce some winners tomorrow. We will. saw this video uh, that you got up uh, uh, online last week. That's right. So we'll be announcing the winners tomorrow at the Qualcomm press conference. We'll be doing that at 11.30. Okay, fantastic. So we'll be there. That was Jay from Qualcomm showing us some cool augmented reality stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks.